On June 18th, Adrian Yanez will be fighting in his home state of Texas at UFC Austin. Coming off a recent decision victory over the Englishman Davy Grant, Yanez will be looking to continue his head of steam against Louisiana's Tony Kelly. Yanez has started his undefeated UFC career finishing three of his last four opponents in Victor Rodriguez, Gustavo Lopez, and Randy Costa. Born along the Texas coast, Adrian Yanez trains out of Metro Fight Club in Houston, just 30 miles from his hometown of Laporte, Texas. He continues a fighting legacy for his late father, Andres Yanez, and legendary Texas MMA coach, Saul Solis. So we're actually pulling up to uh, Heritage Muay Thai. Uh, it's ran by Michael Chase Corley. He's a really good Muay Thai coach. We're gonna have a, a pad session with him, mid session. You know, have a good, have a good uh, hour go at it, and then right after we're gonna same place at Heritage. Uh, gonna have an MMA session with uh, Eve Edwards. Yeah. So like I remember breaking my hand in one of my LFA fights. Hit the guy on the top of the head. Uh, with the with the step back hook and I just remember just being like in that moment just remember just like like fire was on my hand for a second I was like oh shit not in a good way not in a good sense but in a bad sense like I felt like fire was on my hand I was like oh shit and then after the fight taking off the hand wraps uh, just remember seeing the bone sticking out of my uh, sticking sticking out of my skin and shit and I was like oh Adrian's already got good movement Good boxing, so just adding a little more weapons to the arsenal. You know, his hands are going to open up a lot of stuff for kicks, elbows, knees. You just want to get comfortable throwing all the weapons. It gets so hot in the warehouse. <laughs> it gets so hot. Look at that. I just. <laughs> trying to wipe myself down with towels and shit. When I think about Adrian, you know, I just think. You know, he's a, he's a giver. He's a giver of, you know, his knowledge and his, uh, his time and stuff like that. But he's also a giver of ass whoopers. Like, he's literally taking on Saul's job and he's, like, coaching. That's a big, that's big shoes to fill, you know. And um, he's just giving a lot to this team, you know, as, lo as, as well as a hard working and an animal when it comes to, you know what I'm saying, to the fight stuff. Right here. Now I can start turning that corner. That pressure. Pressure, pressure. I can't go this way without giving up the double. I get to my frame, I start putting that pressure, now I can start turning this way, open up the space, get back to neutral and make it fight. So Coaching Adrian is pretty easy. He's real coachable. The, the group of guys that we, we got together right now, they ask the, the, the appropriate questions. They, they just keep building on, on what we're trying to do. I don't know, I think it's because we're in the same lineage, you know? Adrian trained on the salt for so long. I started on the salt for a really long time. And I just think we have an understanding of how this game works from Saul and it just makes it real easy for me to translate what I what's in my head to, to these guys and Adrian and, and he just just does his thing man he's, he's natural at this so it's, it's real easy to, to coach him so we're leaving uh, Heritage Muay Thai over here in the Heights in Houston uh, heading back home gonna go relax and chill before the night session we got sparring tonight so you know, I gotta make sure I eat and rest up and shit. I've had a couple people call me out. Tony Kelly's one of them. Nate Manis is one of them. And also, also the one with the biggest name, Sugar Sean, called me out. Uh, again, like, they all called me out. They are, they're all going to have to see me at one point. There's, that's also kind of a reason why I took this Tony Kelly fight. Uh, man, he called my name. Uh, you know, you call, you shout receive. You know, you, you call for me. And, hey, I'm here. Like, the fight's only a couple weeks away. So, you know, I can't, I can't wait. So, I'm going to get, I'm going to, I got a checklist. Tony Kelly's first. Nate Manish can be next, or Sugar Sean can be next, or Nate Manish can be next, or whatever, 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 whatever order it is, I'm gonna get them, all of them. Like, call my name out, you, you're gonna see me. Uh, right now we're heading to Raising Canes, <laughs> but no, uh, no, seriously, uh, we're going to O Athletics to go uh, get our sparring session in. Metro Fight Club is officially moved to O Athletics, so now it's. Uh, now it's like 
now it's a like a good like mixture because I have a gym that's like has everything in it. It has like a sauna, it has everything from like recovery to sauna to workout, like the turf and cages, bags and everything. Like it has like everything you need. Oh shit. Man, still sore from this morning. God damn. Yo, what's up? You got Oprah with some of the big Yeah, I see him Yes, sir. Yeah, so the process with which whenever Adrian took over the classes, uh, no one can replace Coach Saul Solis um, as somebody who has no, pretty much very relatively little experience with MMA. He took me in with open arms with just a wealth of experience, but also tough love, and Adrian kind of took that over. The, the basics and the structure and the routine that Saul put us through, he puts them through. Um, and when I attend those, uh, I guess, pro slash Amy classes, um, it's, it runs the same because the process is the same, and it, the process works. Adrian, three knockout bonuses in a row, I believe, or at least performance the night, um, and the results just speak for themselves. So, I mean, I'm excited for him because a lot of changes coming because he just had a son, just bought a house, and um, yeah, the program is good and it's, and it's growing and it's getting better. So. I mean, it's still experience. I mean, he used to train with Coach Saul for a long time, so you can see on him that he has all that experience that Coach so left to him, you know, all that knowledge. And it's been great, it's been great. It's been really like, you know, it's like Coach so is has never been gone, you know? So it's really good experience to keep training with the same style and same process. Man, we are done for the day, man. It was a great eventful day. A lot of hard work, a morning session, pretty much like three, four sessions in a day. Man, like, yeah, all, all, all in a day's hard work. Super excited, super pumped, because man, like all the hard work is going to translate over into the cage. Look, getting coached, doing a little bit of coaching, you know, hitting off spots. Fuck yeah, I'm super excited. I can't wait to put on for my city.